Hi everyone, this is Wendy. So I'm back on to do another letter for the 3 in 30 alphabet challenge that Shabby Dabby Doodah is putting out on YouTube. Um, now for the letter G, oh dear I gave myself such a hard time doing this. <laughs> um, I think Tina actually used glassine bags or glassine paper um, but she said you could use greaseproof paper as well and I went through my stash of supplies and I could only find what I'm thinking is um, a glassine bag so there was this one here that had been sent to me with some happy mail in it which I'm thinking that is a proper glassine I'm not sure so I've got that one there and then I found this little envelope too which this one doesn't quite feel the same as this I'm thinking this might be um, tracing paper sort of but I'm going to use that too for my glassine and then I grabbed my greaseproof paper which is this here and I thought I better try and put something together so I used the glue that I normally did this is just a craft and hobby PVA glue right and I left it overnight but look at this it doesn't hold at all it wasn't holding see like even just slightly that still comes apart and I thought what am I going to do and then I thought well I could always use my baking paper and sew down the sides so I did sew that one but then I'm thinking if I go to stick anything on here it's not going to stick it's going to come off straight away because it didn't stick on this piece here and these are the this is from the same roll of um, baking paper that I had so oh, then um, I was thinking well the only other glue I've got is a glue stick and um, just the PVA but then I remembered I had some of this Elmer's washable clear glue and I don't really like using this I always seem to get it everywhere <laughs> But I used it on this baking paper and it stuck really well. So it must be, they must be two absolutely two different types of ingredients um, in these glues. <coughs> so I ended up making that one there and oh, this was the one that. Oh, maybe that was the glue. Oh, this is where I tried the the Elmer's on this side, which is stuck, and I put the other PVA glue this side, which didn't stick. Okay, but this one here, the Elmer's, it stuck okay, but it's really like crinkly. Like you'd really have to. Oh look, that's going to come up too. Oh my goodness. And I'm not, well this one here, maybe. See, I just don't know if that's going to stick. See, that was the Elmer's glue and I thought that stuck really well. Um, so the only other thing I had that resembled um, the glassine uh, bag that I had there was my tracing paper that's two sheets there I don't want two um, because that that sort of feels like this little envelope um, so I kind of like made up a pocket uh, and used the Elmer's glue on that and look that that's really good because I'm using a bit of force on that and that stuck really well the Elmer's glue on my tracing paper but 
really it didn't stick really well on that after all maybe that yeah okay so what I thought I might do for my challenge I know I'm a bit long-winded at the moment I'm going to decorate these two um, bags for either grease proof or glassine and I thought about I was going to use my baking paper but now I've changed my mind I'm just going to use some of my tracing paper okay all right so well I've got that all out of the road out of the road <laughs> This was so hard because, um, like I know Tina's in from Shabby Dabby Doo she's in the UK, I think, and um, I think they might may, may have access to the glassine bags as like the, the USA does, but I don't have it here. Alright, so I'm going to put my timer on and I'm going to make another envelope, but a bit bigger envelope I'm thinking um, yeah okay so I'll put my clock on and I'll just get going and see how I go <laughs> and I'll use this Elmer's glue it just this just goes everywhere for me this glue I don't know why okay so I've got my timer on there's my 30 minutes so I'm going to make a little bit bigger envelope than what I've got there so I'm just going to fold that up which is like folded up roughly to about four inches that was four inches exactly mm, that's pretty cool okay and I'm going to cut it here at about five inches so I'll just get my blade and cut that down. I can use that for something else. Um, it's only a little bit bigger, not that much bigger, but that's okay. And I'm just going to cut this top off here. Try and get it straight. Okay. So this is going to be my bag. Now I'm going to actually fold that over and just grab the folded center and hold that there. And some scissors would be great and I don't know where my other ones are. And I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut just under about halfway for this one and just do like a little squiggly cut right so that's going to be the top of my envelope there on that fold and I'm going to glue that onto onto the bottom just down there so I'm going to have a a little jazzy envelope I hope <laughs> I hope <laughs> that's what I'm thinking okay so um, I've just got some decorative paper here beside me so I think I might like to use a little bit of music sheet got a got some here and right so I'm going to fold that I want to get that design up at the top and put just the music sheet there so I think that's wide enough so I'll fold that and just put that in the center there again make sure I, I'll get this centered first okay so that's centered and just push that in there like that and just follow that same little curvy thing that I've done before 
and needs to be cut just along there and I'm going to put that up there maybe needs to be cut down just a little bit more yep it does okay straighten that up oops knocking everything over okay so I'll cut that down just a little bit more that there And that's going to go on the top of my envelope up there. Okay, and I'm going to put the same on the bottom here. So I'll just more or less do the same for this shape here at the bottom. Just cut that around. there and cut that off about there and I think I might have to cut that off a bit, the sides a bit too because it's a bit wide okay all right so that's my top that's my bottom okay so that's going to go onto my bottom so what I'll do first is just bring that back. I'm going to glue my bottom on. Yeah, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this glue is going to stick. It oh, and it just come out everywhere. I'm going to have glue everywhere again. This glue and I just don't mix. This Elmer's glue gives me a hard time. I'm so used to using that the other glue. Okay, so that's going to go right along the bottom there and up the sides. Just move that over at C and I've got glue all over my fingers again. Okay, let's just push that down and out. Why is that? There we go. Okay, so hopefully I can get this one, this envelope to stick. I'll get this glue off my fingers before I panic. <clears throat> okay, but I really don't know. I'm not too sure about these glues with this. Why is that tucked under? There we go. Okay, just and it goes really crinkly. So, really not sure what's going on there. Okay, so that's going to be my envelope. It really needs to... See, I don't even want to move that now. I've done it a little bit low, but that's okay. Now, I'm going to put this one on here and just ink around the edges. And the top part as well, while I've got the, oops, what side am I on? <clears throat> Doesn't matter, I don't think. Okay, and put a bit of glue on this to stick it down. Try the less is more approach with this glue. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe more is more. More is better on this one. I've got no idea. 
Okay, so I'll get that down on there. See, if worst comes to worst with this, um, I can always sew it down around the three sides at the bottom. So I'm not really sure if it's going to stick or not. Just giving myself a hard time about it, I think. <laughs> and put a bit more over this side. Oops. It's like I know you've only got to do like three things in the 30 minutes, but you really want them to stick, don't you? To stay together. So I'm just hoping that it will. This one's really brought me totally out of my comfort zone, especially using this glue. <laughs> okay, so let's press that down. I'm going to put this up on the top of my envelope. And you can see there I've got a little gap there, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry about that too much. I don't even know if you can. Oh yeah, you can put a bit of colour on on that paper. This is the, the tracing paper. I think it's it feels more like a vellum to me. I don't know about anyone else, but anyway. Okay, so I'm just going to let that, I'm not going to do much more to that at the moment. And I'm going to decorate these. Now, I want them to go into my book. So I'm actually thinking of gluing them both into my journal. So I'm going to be decorating this side and this side. And I've also got out some, just some pieces of pattern paper. There's the other ones here. <coughs> See, that's that's pretty, isn't it? I like that one. Um, and I thought about more or less putting the pattern paper on like I did this one here. Um, just wish that was a little bit wider. Okay, I'll do it this way anyway. So I'll just cut I'll just cut this down down the side. Just go under a little bit. And will that go in there now? Or is it still too wide? Still too wide. I'll just cut. Oh, that was a really crooked cut anyway. Okay, so let's just go about there. Okay. And I'm going to put that in there. Alright, so just centre it there and grab a pencil. Where's my pencil? And just mark, put a pencil mark here and along here so I know where to cut. Okay. And I'll cut that out. Okay, so that's going to go there. I'll link that up. And some of this glue.
and just put that down here at the bottom. It needs to be cut a bit more. Just press this down. Just tidy that up at the bottom there. And don't cut the little envelope. There we go. Okay, so got that on there. And maybe put that up there on the top. Yeah, that'll do. Why not? Let's do it. So I'll just measure that there, make sure it's centered, and draw a little line around here. Cut that out. Okay, and that's going to go up there. Um, I think that needs to be cut just a little bit shorter. So I'll snip it down now before I ink it. Okay, let me check now. Yeah, that looks good. So you'll still be able to see the, um, well I'm calling it glassine, <laughs> you'll still be able to see that glassine bag um, around it, but I think this, they, this little envelope might more be more a, like a tracing paper type of envelope. Okay, so... Right, that looks pretty good. Right, we'll have that there. And give that a press down. There. Okay, so I've got some pa decorative paper on that little one. That looks like it's going to lift up to me. All right, we'll just wait and see. See, wait and see how it dries. Okay. Now the next one is that other bag. Now this one. Um, I've got one with the book page and one little one with the paper. So this one here, I might put some of this on it, it's got a nice little um, colour and font to it. Uh, this is a page from a typing uh, journal and it's got these handwritten um, exercises in it so I might actually put some of that on on the front of this one okay so I'm just going to rip this one I think get my little ruler out I'm just trying to work out what I want on the front of it so I think more this one over here righto so I'll rip this Gosh, I've only got 11 minutes 47 left. Okay, that one and about there. I don't want it completely covering. There. And 
down here at the bottom. Okay, so let's get that on there. Ink around the edge. Might just give that a bit of a smudging too. Okay. Alright, so... Some of that on. Just on there. Okay, so I'll leave that the top of that just plain. Now I really that was up for that one. No. It's already on there. See that's really wrinkly. I don't even know if that's going to stay on there. But anyway, okay, so all I'm gonna do now is just give them a little bit more decoration. So got my little book here that I made the other day with all my little bits and pieces in it and it looks so cool. Okay so what I'm going to do with this one I'm going to get a little label out. Got a little square label there um, and I think I might use some of these dictionary words. They've got the word and the meaning on them. So I'll just pull out a few if I can. Okay, and find one. So we've got beautiful, timeless, magic, and vintage. Okay, I might put vintage on that one. Magic on there. I'll leave that one out just in case. I might find something else. And now I want something to decorate them with. Come on, Wendy. Okay, so I like this one. Got some little lavender. Um, little lavender images here, which I quite like. I've got eight minutes left. No, not on that one. Um, needs like a pinky one or something on that. Uh, what else have I got? Let's have a look. Hmm, that looks nice. Don't need that on there. Spread your wings and fly. Okay, and oh, maybe this one on there instead of that. Awesome. Ah, oh, that's a bit too big. Just some greenery. Okay, well, I like those ones better. And what else have we got? Um, got some little doilies too. Okay, I think that's going to do me on that one. Or maybe that one. No, because then I can see the doily behind it. Okay, so I've got that one. I've got six minutes left. And I haven't actually got a side to put the stamp on, but 
Got a little purple stamp there that I think can go up there somewhere. No, I don't want to stamp on that one. Got another couple of really small doilies here. And I've pushed them right down, so I'm just going to drag them back up. So, let me see. Maybe that one. Okay, well I'm going to start sticking these on anyway. I don't know if I want anything else. No. Okay, I'll just put that there. Alright, so just think these up around here. I've got five minutes left. <laughs> I'm, pu I'm pushing it. That time goes so fast. Okay. So let's just put those, I'll put that up there and I do need a flower or something just there. Oh, I've gone back to this glue. I'm going to stick with this Elmer's because I'm just going to make sure that it all that it does glue properly. Okay, so we've got that. I'm going to put that one there. And maybe I've got a little bit of I'll cut that I think. bit of um, what's the name so let's put that there and see I don't know how that glue is going to go with that either so did I glue that yep and just going to put this little sign just over that there and I do need something just up there. Uh, no, that flower is too big, and I don't think I've got any other ones near me at the moment. Okay, so I've got that one done. Now let's do this one here. put half of that one on. Look I'm going back to this glue because I don't know something's telling me that that's not sticking properly. I've got two minutes left. Two minutes 41. <laughs> so quickly let's get this on. Okay so get that there, right there, cut that off. And this one here, oh, I've got to get that glue off my fingers. <clears throat> okay, we'll put some of this on here. And that's going to go right about there. And one minute thirty left. Okay, so let's just grab a little bit of this cheesecloth. Oh, 
be right, it was folded over. I'll just cut that again. Right, I'll just put that down there. Put that on top of it. 45 seconds to go. Alright, so that one's done enough. <clears throat> and this one here. Um, 23 seconds. I've got to get something on here, don't I? Alright, let's get it on. 11 seconds. <laughs> come on, come on, Wendy. Right, one, four seconds left. Oh, nearly upside down. Okay, that's it, guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, where did that time go? Okay, so dismiss. All right. Wow. So, uh, partly decorated. Um, this one here doesn't look too bad. That looks pretty. That does look pretty, that one. And this one here looks pretty too. Except I do need like a little, a little flower there or something. <clears throat> Wow, that just went so fast. And I think I was going to put that on there too. So, alright, I'm finished, but I'm just going to finish putting these little bits on there. Um, this one. Okay, that can go on there. Alright. And, yeah, why not? Let's put that beautiful up there. <coughs> Pardon me. Right, so I've got them done and next time I will show you them in my journal. So got three sort of done. I got two, two and a half done. <laughs> um, so that wasn't too bad. Um, I don't think I showed you no, I didn't show you my last one for F which was the what was it for file folders? Yep. So I'll give you a quick squizzy. Listen to that wind. It's really windy. It's been windy for the last couple of days. No wonder they're having trouble putting the fires out. Okay, so this was the page for F for the file folders. Um, this one here I've done with the acetate front and I've just put it on this page here and decorated it with some um, just some lacy fabric and some of the Edith Holden images from her book that says yes my darling that's my darling little Ryan and then over here was the other file folder that I made into a pocket and I just made a big tag. I haven't done any writing on them yet, but I made a big tag to go with it. And that's me. That's my daughter and myself in there. And I've just clipped the other one onto this side here, um, trying to keep the them all together. But I think this one will get moved around. So this one's got like brighter pictures in the centre. That's Ryan, Samuel and Bridget. That's when we went 
um, roller skating during their holidays and that's um, Rupa and me. Okay so that was last week's, that was the file folders and I really loved how they turned out and this week here was the like G for glassine or grease poop, oh, grease poop, <laughs> grease proof paper. So that's an envelope I made, but look how wrinkly that is. I really don't like using this stuff, but I've done it. <laughs> okay, so there's that one there, which I'm going to put in my journal. And then this little one here. I really like this little one, but I do need some kind of little flower just there. And offhand, I've got no idea where they'd be. Um, and I really do like this one here too. It's like simple, but it looks, it does look really pretty. Um, maybe just put a bit more ink along that edge there. Okay, all right. So I'm going to be putting those into my book somewhere. And I'll show you next video when we do GH. H will be interesting. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, thanks guys. If you want to have a look at somebody else that's doing the channel, I'll leave their links down in my description. Okay, uh, you have a great day and I'll catch you later. Bye bye.